What's going on, everybody? Painblade back here again from Server One, representing IC. Guys, we're gonna be covering Golden Week today and what to do with your Golden Week coins. A lot of you've been asking a lot of questions, so here we go, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're back here again. Now, I hope everyone's been enjoying Golden Week. I know it's not what we expected. I know nobody expected to have UR Naruto back. Nobody expected to even have this mission assistance back so quickly after having the anniversary. Uh, but here we are. And what I want to do today, guys, is kind of talk about what you should be spending your Golden Week coins on. Now, there's going to be a lot of confusion here for a lot of people because people are like, hey, you know what? We get a free UR Naruto. That should be your number one focus, but that actually isn't what you should be focusing on. There are other reasons why you want to use these coins for something else. Plus, I want to talk about what the most efficient way to get stamina and also how to use stamina to get the most amount out of this event. All right, so let's actually jump into, guys, the, the actual uh, marketplace here and look at the Shinobi Return Exchange. That's what it's being called. It's no longer called the Mission Assistance Coins. It's being called the Shinobi Return Exchange. Of course, probably signifying the fact that we will probably get SR Heavy back again at some point, if SRs even still exist, or hopefully something brand new eventually. But right now, what I want to talk about, guys, is what you should be focusing on. Now, everyone's going to say, they want to get UR Naruto. This is an opportunity for you to get a 7 star UR, of course, if you're whaling. If you're not whaling and you're just playing a normal game uh, as an F2P, you can actually get him to at least 5 stars, which is very enticing. But what I want to kind of signify, guys, to you guys is this character is a little bit outdated now. The SR Naruto version, if you have KCM, uh, they'll do plenty that this character can do, plus more with KCM, of course. So, realistically, that's not who you should be focusing on. Your main focus, guys, should be on these these little items here called Awakening Scroll Prize Box and Awakening Talisman Prize Box. Now the reason why I'm, I'm pointing your attention to these instead guys, these are not possible to get after you get the arena versions of them or if you buy the Blessing Packs versions, they're no longer available in the game. Uh, and This is the first time ever they've given us the opportunity to actually get these rewards. Now, 3,000 a pop, you need maximum 6,000 a day to get these ones, minimum 3,000 to get one of them. Now, what is the purpose of this, right? A lot of you might be asking that question. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, okay? So my, my Kakashi, when I, before I started this event, uh, was sitting about roughly 88K. Uh, now he's at 90, 944, okay? So here's what the, the importance of these scrolls and talismans are, all right? If I go to a real quick, if you go to right here, this tab called scrolls and talismans, you know you can actually level these up but there's also the option to awaken them every time you awaken the scroll and talisman it gives you specific buffs to hp and attack all right so the way this works guys is if you if you do the scroll uh upgrade awakening first it'll actually give you more percentages for attack and a little less for hp and vice versa on talisman you'll get more on hp but lower on attack so you still want to maximize both as much as you can now it's a huge huge increase guys in your attack power and your hp which means more survivability more damage of course and higher end jutsus now the way it works for this though like it didn't work before before when we had naruto uh let's just go to your naruto real quick when you had the original event out they only allowed us to get the guts talisman and the guts scrolls all right with this event here you actually get the prize box and you get to choose what you want to do. Now, the way it works, guys, when you pick up these prize boxes, you'll click on it, and the way you have to choose your scroll and talisman is based on who you actually want to apply them to. So, for example, Kakashi requires endurance scrolls, right? If I go to Sasuke uh, Kirin, he requires faith scrolls. If I go to Yuar Naruto, he also re he requires bravery scrolls. So, make sure, guys, as you're going through this, you know who you want to apply it to and you pick the right scroll and talisman. Don't just randomly get them all right as you do this though the more you increase the scrolls and talismans you're gonna also need these awakening orbs for a lot of new players these are gonna be impossible to get to get right away so you're going to have to spend additional um, uh, additional coins to actually get these from the store this also costs 3,000 so a total of 9,000 will get you exactly what you need now for free to play players this is going to be impossible to max out you need to actually use your stamina very efficiently so guys these Shino coins here, as you see, I have 135. That's my browser version. Don't worry about that. I have way more on my mobile because that's where it all sits. But you want to use this effectively, guys. You essentially want to, for this event, let me go back for a second. Sorry, wrong one. I meant to click on stamina. So you can see here, these. this uses the gold coins. You don't want to use that. You actually want to use 
your shinobi coins to actually refresh stamina as much as you can now for new players specifically this is beneficial because number one you'll get more stamina which means you'll get more coins number two it'll actually boost your blessing level which means you can refresh more often because in the beginning i believe you only have two refreshes and that goes up as you increase up to a maximum of 10 on your blessing levels right and the other thing you want to use is you want to use your bentos now guys make sure you're smart log into every stamina bonus you can that's four times a day if possible maximum three sorry minimum three maximum four uh you want to make sure that you're always available to get those because this event is a limited time event and it's going to boost your power quite a bit and significantly for your good shinobis uh so you want to do that so the key here guys my suggestion is max out your refreshes as much as you can using shinobi coins right now you're getting shinobi coins for free from two different events you're getting from the golden week event and you're getting for the month of may login right so make sure guys instead of applying and getting summons on that use them efficiently and get these awakening scrolls and these awakening um talismans because they're going to be gone and they're going to be really hard to come back by so make sure guys you're focusing on this more than anything this here is also pretty essential because you can't use these without this but as you go up in the game these become a little more abundant while the Awakening Scroll prize box and the Awakening uh, Talisman prize box are still almost impossible to come by. So guys, this is going to be your goal. Now, right away, I'm going to tell you this. Use it on characters that will push you further and further in content, specifically Kakashi, Obito, uh, Sasuke Hebi. Those are the three main ones that come to mind. I would not be putting on anyone else besides KCM outside of those three uh, because they're the, the powerhouse hitters and you want them just to hit harder than before because things like the flashback genealogy event that's going on now, those are going to be your main damage dealers, right? So make sure, guys, when you're getting these, you're putting them on the right character. So again, recap. These are your three main focuses. Stamina refreshes, go maximum as much as you can. If you're a whale, make, make sure you use your bentos. You wanna make sure you can get up to 9,000 points and get these every single day whales. For a free to play, your main focus is gonna be awakening scrolls and awakening talisman prize boxes, first and foremost. If you only choose one, it's up to you what you wanna do. I suggest going with the awakening scroll prize box because that actually boosts your attack rather than your HP, but that's my suggestion on that one. Do not please waste your resources on any of these. These are not worth it, guys. This is a bait trap for new players. Avoid them as much as you possibly can. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, hit me up in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. Life's been hectic, life's been crazy. Uh, but you guys also really wanna point this out real quick. In terms of how should you farm these effectively, these coins, you actually wanna focus on doing elite missions because you can get yourself fragments and you can get yourself gear stones. But if you wanna net the most amount of coins, standard regular missions are the best way to do it. So if you're strictly looking for coins, guys, standard missions if you're looking for a little bit extra then you want to push for these elite missions as they will give you the bonuses for getting gear fragments and everything else so that is the most uh effective way for getting multiple things this is the best and, and most abundant way of getting yourself coins all right so those are the two different methods you want to look at all right guys this is pain i hope this video helped you out if you have any questions hit me up again in the comment section give me a like give me a subscribe guys let's keep going my one year is coming up very soon god damn Damn, 12 days away. I'm looking at it, I'm like, holy geez, it's been almost a year. All right, guys, thank you for your love and support as always. Have a wonderful night.